Welcome back to another episode of Mainly Loss. Today we are going to go through all the birds, um, all my pairs, and we're basically going to go through which ones I'm thinking about pairing up and whatnot, just a bit more in depth, why I want to do it and things like that. But um, yeah, this is Leo and Storm, and they are on their last round. I do want to breed again from them, um, but I wouldn't mind splitting them up later on. Um, but you can see, you know, Leo's quite a big strong fella um, and he does produce some really good babies so we're kind of gonna give him a break after this round so this is his last round that he's on now these babies are going to be weaned in maybe a week not too far away um, but they're both looking pretty well after doing three rounds but even storm here she's looking really good beautiful pigeon but um, yeah that's it last round the babies are looking really good quite healthy and just keen to get them flying I don't want to push this pair too much so we'll give them a break after this and the second pair we have gone at the moment is Titan and Little Storm the mother and father was in the loft um, in the cage just before we bred the hen here which is a checkered one um, we just brought her back from my friend's house so we can pump out a few more rounds from her because these babies are no, they're quite good they are very consistent come home so i thought i'll bring her in um and i was managed to purchase this the male here which is a big blue bar he's a leo herman's cross human um quite a good bird he's a few years old a few years older than her anyway but um still still feeling eggs but um look at him he's like an angry bird but um oh, i'm just so keen to get some more babies from him and swap me around some of the females because he's an absolutely stunning pigeon the problem I have, I've got um, only two really good cockbirds and, and a lot of hens, so it's very hard to um, get the pairs paired up I want and breed some babies out of them. But hopefully we might be able to hold a couple of babies back and use them as stock for the following season so we don't have this problem again. But we need to get in and check out these other pairs anyway. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and basically outline the pairs that we have left and a few decisions on which ones we want to pair with who and whatnot um, we've got both shock and well both the birds we got off adam archer um, and then we have the other recent ones that we just got so basically i'm going to go through them and pretty much just say which pairs that i am thinking about um, and basically um you know the reasons why i'm picking those pairs and things like that but um yeah this, he's pretty keen he needs to settle down a little bit but um we're going to go through all my breeding pairs um the only ones we won't cover is the pair of splits for barless because um you know we'll cover them later on anyway that's not really important they're just a side project but we're going to focus on these and they're already into it so we need to get into this video um and we'll start going through the pairs that I think. Um, so let's get into it. I'll go with the first pair. Let's get that one out. So we're going to go, um, this is going to be the first pairing. Uh, this is the cockbird. This is the staff and reet that we have got from Adam Archer. It's got quite a few winners in its family. Um, out to about 600 or so kilometers, I think. It's a um, very beautiful bird. It's a checker pied. So I need to pair this up with a hen that I think is um, going to be, you know, a good match for it. There's a lot of commotion going on in this box, but um, he, we was thinking about pairing him up with the hen that we did get from Adam, but now that we do have these um, new hens, I feel like there's much, much better hens to put in with. So. Um, that's why I sort of changed my mind a little bit. We've probably got enough time to um, just pull out, pretty much just pump out one round of babies. It's really aggressive, that cockbird in there. So basically it'll take us a few weeks to set, you know, a week or so to settle them down, get them on eggs, and then get the chicks to weaning age, and that'll pretty much be very close to the time that I'm basically going to be moving house, hopefully, given that the house and everything goes along as planned. This coronavirus is throwing a lot of spanners in the works, but um, 
or basically the new house sales here in Western Australia have gone up 500%, so I'm definitely pushing them to keep on the target that they first quoted, but let's get into this pairing anyway. Um, the hen that I'm thinking for him, he's meant to be more of a sprint bird, but um, according to Adam and obviously the pedigrees in that, there's one of the hens in his family, it might be his grandmother or something, not 100% sure, I'll have to double check, that has won a race out to like six, over 600 kilometers, so definitely going to be quite good in that middle distance. I'm, I'm only aiming at middle distance, so this works out perfectly for me. But he's, you know, he's still reasonably young. He's, he's got a bit of muscle on him, uh, so I want to pair him with a hen that's reasonably similar. And that's what we're going to do. You can see the wing. Beautiful wing. He's uh, he's not not too hundred percent sure. He's actually got a, quite a bit of copper in those wings as well. The more bronzing, but um. Let's get the hen out that I think that I'm going to put him with and we'll basically see how she feels compared to him. So this is the hen that I'm thinking about pairing him up with. Um, still haven't 100% made my mind up. This is the pure gaby hen from memory. Um, she's the older one. Yeah, she's the gaby one. She's a little bit older. She's 2016. She's four years old. Um, she's probably a little bit more experienced than him, so it might be good to put him with a more experienced hen. She's actually a beautiful, like, she is all muscle, this thing. She's like a little barrel of muscle. You can just see it, how well she is. Look at her wings. Just, she's a beautiful little hen. Um, she's definitely a standout hen. If I had the, the choice, I would put this hen here with Titan, just because... Her and Titan are very similar. They've got the same wings, the same build in the body, um, and they would just produce probably the best babies, this pair together, in basically in relation to if I'm going to pair this one up or Titan up with someone else. I think that if I paired her up with Titan, it'd be a much better match, but um, at this point, I'm just watching that um, one of the blue bar cockbirds in there is trying to chase the checkered pied cockbird which is weird as in a mating courtship way which is strange hopefully i'm hoping he's a bird cockbird well, anyway so yeah i'm definitely thinking that this hen um this is the 100 percent gaby hen she's beautiful heaps of muscle i'm thinking about putting her with shock which is our checker pied staff and root i'm thinking she's she's going to be the go i reckon she's She's a well, well balanced and well built little bird. This is the kind of type that I like. Both this hen and the red checker hen. Um, oops, she's getting a bit wild. Um, both of them are built very similar. This one's body is much better than the, the red checker hen. Purely at the moment, which I'm just going by characteristics, trying to keep them reasonably similar at the moment. Um, just because I'm trying to maintain that. Um, middle distance kind of bird because that's all I'm interested in I don't really like sprint racing um, and I don't really want to sit around all weekend and wait for the long distance races so um, you know more of that day kind of racing than I'm that I'm interested in for next year so we just need to produce birds that are definitely going to be in around that kind of that kind of area so I think this hen might be quite good for it she's got plenty of muscle so she should produce some good babies but I really really want to put her with tight and I just there's just something about it that her and Titan together, um, even her and Leo together might even be quite a good pair. She's just a, she's just a, oh, you have to really hold her to see. She's got beautiful wings, oh, but she's got, a, she's a little bit feisty this one, but I'm going to put her down. So it's probably the first pairing I'm thinking about. Um, and then we might jump in and have a look at the next pairing now. Okay, so out of the two blue bar cockbirds that I did get, um, this one, I would say, out of those two, is definitely the more standout kind of bird. Um, they're not huge birds. They're not definitely not... I think the hens have got a better build than these cockbirds, but um, this is going to be the next one, I'd say. He's probably the better one out of those two to breed with. But he's pretty wild, this one. He's 100% um, hoovin, this one got the pearl eye 
Um, he's, what year is he? He's 2018, so he's two years old. Um, he's got a very similar wing to Leo. Very strong shoulders and very, these feathers are like real, real hard. So hopefully we can pair him up with a good hen. And I do have a little bit of an idea. So we'll, we'll look and see what hen. The hens out of this pick, the two hens that I did get the other day, are just far, far better birds than the cockbirds. The cockbirds are probably average, but the hens, when I'm in the, I'm talking about in terms of their overall condition, their wings, and just the way they feel and muscles and all that kind of thing. They just, they just feel like really good birds. The cockbirds are just not, I don't know. They just don't stand out as much as the hens. The more I hold the hens. Um, yeah, the more I'm like, wow, these are very nice hens and I'd like to put them over Leo and Titan just because I feel like the hen's quality is definitely to that of Leo and Titan. Where these cockbirds, I think they're just, um, the quality just isn't there compared to Leo and Titan. But the only way really is just to breed and test and see how we go. But this one, he's wild. So we'll put him down. Here's the full Huben. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We're just going to have to breed and see how we go with him. We'll get one round out of him, but he's um, a little bit camera shy. We'll put him away and then we'll get the hen out that I'm thinking for him. So this is the hen that I'm thinking to put with her. Um, I'd really like to put this hen with Leo, but um, unfortunately Leo's on his last round. He, yeah, three's enough, I think. I'm just going to leave him at three. And then just let them have a break now until like maybe early next year and we might do we might pair this hen up with him and just see just get a couple you know a bit of experimentation and just get a few young birds out um later on but we won't worry about that now but i definitely would love to put her with either leo or titan as well just i just think she is a standout bird um she's just beautiful she's half gaby and half bunter um if you remember we've had bunters before I think Raven was probably a quarter bunter. We had a pure red cockbird that was 100% um, bunter, um, which is definitely related to this one. If you do remember that red one that we had, um, this was quite some time ago. This one is um, would be very much related to that one because it's from the same person that we got that red one off, which is, um, is good because those reds are quite good, those red bunters. So the Bunters are generally, they are a Western Australian breed, or strain, um, mainly more long distance. So this will, this has got a little bit of middle and a little bit of long distance mixed into it. But she has, out of um, the whole bunch, she definitely has the best wing on her. Like it is just, to me, the perfect wing. And I would love to put her with um, Big Leo and just see what they produce. I think they would produce some winners, but unfortunately she's going to go... With one of the cockbirds we got here, I just feel like, um, yes, I don't know. It's just a hard one because this, the two hands are just they're just so much more superior than the two cocks I got. When you start holding them and you look at them and how well the balance are, and just look, they're just so well bred. But she definitely is keen to breed, and I'd say she's paired up to one of those cockbirds in there. Those cockbirds are still fighting, but um, yeah, so we're probably going to pair her with that one you just seen. I'm not going to put too much emphasis on the moment and just in trying to pick pairs and all that kind of stuff because realistically, we've only got enough time to get out one round of babies out of these before we shut them down before the move. So I thought, um, yeah, let's not put too much emphasis on it. We'll just pick the better birds, we'll pair them together, and then there's only really two that... Um, not really that much of a standout-ish, and we'll just put them together um, and just see how the babies go. So definitely this hen with that cockbird. Let's go on to the next pair. I need to put her down because she's just too nice. And here is the last cockbird that we do have. He is half Huben and half Gaby. He's a little bit wild too. I'd say he feels very similar to the other cockbird. Um, but uh, he's got feathers coming out of him here and he's just as wild too these cockbirds are really wild he does not want to be in front of the camera 
he wants to be back in that box. Look at him, he's watching. Because he can see shock in there. He's like, get away from my girls. But this one is probably, I'd say, the, the least desirable one out of the bunch. At this point, he's um, got a few feathers coming out, things like that. He's just a little bit ratty. Um, maybe he just needs a conditioner, but I, he's just... Yeah, these two cockbirds are definitely not as the, good as those two hens. It's just, until you hold them, then you'd probably understand. But um, I'm going to put this one with a hen that we have from Adam Archer. We'll grab her out and we can have a bit of a look. Here she is. This is the Leo Herman's hen that we have from Adam Archer. She is a very solid bird. Typical probably for the Hermans. Um... I don't know. I think she'll probably go with that last cock bird we've seen just because I'm not sure. She she's a big girl. Like she is a solid lump of pigeon for a hen. She she's almost double the size of those two cock birds that we just had before. Like you can just see the amount of muscle that's on her. She's a beautiful bird. Um but same thing again. Hey oh, come on you guys, settle down in that box there. But uh same thing like the hens they really just need to be mixed in, in and out of, um, you know, shuffled around with Leo and Titan just because they're, yeah, the cockbirds we've got aren't, aren't as exciting as these hens. These hens are, I don't know, just probably got a bit more luck with the hens, I think. She's a nice hen, but she's a big girl. Those are pretty much our pairs anyway. It's it's very hard, and I don't want to, like I said, don't want to put too much emphasis on it. They're all, you know, they're all nice birds. Otherwise, they probably wouldn't be here. Um, they've all got pedigrees and bits and pieces like that, and they've all, most of them have all raced, probably apart from this one and the ones we got from Adam. Um, but the rest of them being out there on the wing, so they've definitely got a little bit of um, experience. So. All we can do is just breed a little bit of everything and see what really works for us next year. And then we can probably sort through and repair our pairs up better. But I just, she's just such a lump of a pigeon. Just weird after holding all them hens and then picking her up. She's resting the head there. But she's a she's a fair lump. She's actually quite a well-bred Leo Hermans. Probably coming from some of the better strains. She's actually close, probably the same line as titan titan's got um he's half leo hermans so he's from that um samson christie side i think of the leo hermans so i'd really like to put those two together she's very similar to um titan but uh, titan's tied up at the moment there's too many hens not enough good cocks i don't think so we're just gonna have to do what we can do but she's just like a you're like a dodo big turkey Well, these are the pairs that I'm thinking about. I'm going to st um, start dropping the cockbirds into those boxes over the coming, probably tomorrow actually. Um, oh, she's so solid. So we'll see how they go. I might still change my mind um, in the pairings. I'm just going to get the cockbirds in there first. But these are the six birds pretty much that we've got to play with. So... Yeah, we'll put them down. We do have another pair of splits, but they're already they're going to be paired together anyway. So we're going to have four pairs in that box. We'll try and get one round out of all four of those pairs as quickly as possible, and then most likely we'll just shut them down. Depending on um, in my house, depending on the pro, like if the house is still another month or two away after these have had babies, well, if it's two months, we'll go again. But if it's a month, we'll shut them down just because. Uh, you know, we need to get the birds off this property and then tidy up the property to sell. So get ready. There's some things that are starting to get interesting. Um, I think in a few days, probably the 6th of October, I've got a tractor that I'm hiring. Um, I'm going to slash all the area um, and clear like a big area where I'm going to put these pigeon lofts in. I'm going to put up some a fence off an area, like a little compound. Um, and I'm going to start moving all the pigeons over there that we're going to fly, which will probably happen in the next two to three weeks. So get excited because those birds are going to be flying very soon. And what we need to do is um, build a little viewing box so we can put all the young birds in it, sit them on the roof, 
Um, so when I'm out the property doing work, I can get all those young birds up on the roof and, you know, start getting them looking around the area, used to the area, um, and we can start trap training them a bit more out there too, especially the older ones, just because they're going to be so strong on the wing. Um, we want to make sure those birds don't go get lost anywhere. So stay tuned. Um, there's going to be a lot of videos coming out over the next month to two months more than you've probably seen from me for a while just because I've got so much time off work um, and all that time is going to be transitioning the birds over and also transitioning myself and the family over onto the property as quickly as possible it's going to be exciting and finally we're going to be able to fly birds again like this is interesting times next year is going to be a excellent year so if you haven't make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the flock i've got a few more surprises coming too so stay tuned for that we're picking up um snow's baby the little white one i showed you on wednesday so that is not tomorrow but the following day after that so two days time we're going to have that we have video up should be with um the little white baby and we'll have a very good look at that we might even get a bit of film and snow she's up there breeding part of my friend's white project so stay tuned for that Anyway, I'm going to cut this short because it's going on a little bit too much. But um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a good weekend. And um, I'm going to go put these birds down, edit this video and um, yeah, get ready for work because I've got to work again tomorrow. I'm going to catch you guys later.